All right, we're at our Bracken County lease. This is uh, kind of the first time we've gone out here to actually do work today. So this lower area, hopefully next time you see it, when we come out here and disc, Mike and I met up with some guys. They're gonna go ahead and bush hog all this down for us, clear out all these trees. So when we come out next week, we'll go ahead and disc it up and spray it and start getting ready for our, the uh, real world wildlife seed soybeans. This week on the White Knuckle Web Show, with spring rains in the forecast, Mike and I try to stay ahead of our food plot preparation. We even managed to get a few mineral stations started. This episode starts now. Is that not the most epic sit in a tree stand? I'm pretty sure it's a, yes it is. That's all I want every year right there. Look at this thing. What do you think of that? That is huge. Bam! Perfect. Came right in. So here's the game plan. This is a completely new property for Mike and I. There's a ton of work to do, and we hope to get it all done before spring. Food plot's gonna be our main focus and clearing out a lot of trees is gonna have to happen first. Now it's roundup time. We got all the trees cut down that we wanted to cut. So now we're gonna go ahead and start putting our roundup down before we disc it. It's gonna take a while. And go. trying out the Groundhog Max. Just we're only probably two inches deep right now so we're gonna buzz through everything and then lower it down some more and go a little bit deeper but dude I'm like I'm pumped I want to try it out. So uh, they say you can actually get twice as much done um, as you typically would with something this size so like a 48 inch wide one uh, you can get the same amount of work done with this one. I think it's only like 21 inches wide or something or 22 inches wide. So it's not real wide, uh, but definitely deceiving because uh, this little thing's built well. And you can tell because whenever you hit stumps, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt this thing. We've already hit a couple of big stumps already. So we're gonna get started. making pretty good progress on this field here. Um, yeah, it's working pretty good. Super, super pumped, man. We're gonna get all of our soybeans down and uh, 
this farm here, we just picked it up. This is the new lease. And they haven't had, um, there hasn't been any food source on it at all. So the only thing I worry is that the soybeans, they might get hammered, but he's a madman out there. He's having a ball. I keep asking him, hey, you want me to get on it? No, I'm good, I'm good. Although I'm starting to get a little bored just kind of hanging out watching him. In the living room, my life is in a never ending state of that old transition. I got a pile up high in the corner of the kitchen, and I'm itching just to find a little bit of unpacked nutrition. All this crap I've accumulated, and I'm waiting for a place that's big enough to fit it into. Upward, upward, running with a new herd Too small, you all gotta get it transferred Packing and I'm stacking and I'm making all my graphics Gotta shove it all into All right, back out the lease. Mike and I are gonna try our first horizontal rub. Uh, we said we were gonna do one last year, but we never got around to it. And now that we have a piece of property that's actually worthy of uh, doing a horizontal rub, we're gonna give it a shot. It's a little early and I'm sure we'll do another one. We've actually I've got another idea of doing one down by a creek. It's kind of behind me. But we're gonna get one up. This is kind of a social hotspot. Uh, we're actually real close to a mineral site, so obviously uh, it's gonna be a social hotspot. So we've got some low hanging branches and we can actually add some more to this tree here. Growing food plots is something that we take very serious at White Knuckle Productions. I want to know that I'm using the highest quality seed out there for deer herd and germination rates. And that's exactly what we found with the real world wildlife seed. Anytime you look at a seed label, you can actually see 99 to 99.9% .9 is actual seed. Real world wildlife seed provides quality and consistency in every single bag that you buy. If it's a 40 pound bag, you're getting 40 pounds of seed. No filler, no inert matter, no seed coatings you're getting 40 pounds of quality seed every single time for your food plots.